since I have a Trader Joe's haul for you guys, I am using my iPhone, so I don't know how shaky it's going to get, so I apologize in advance. But um, wanted to show you guys what I got today. I shop at Trader Joe's like once, once a week, uh, maybe a week and a half. And if you guys have been watching me a while, I do have my staples of a TV dinner, frozen meals kind of thing at Trader Joe's, and I only get them at Trader Joe's. I buy my meats over at the commissary and my pantry goods over the commissary. I buy certain things at Costco, especially when it's on sale. There's coupon days. But um, a lot of my staples, my pantry and freezer staples and refrigerator is from uh, Trader Joe's. So I kind of stocked up a little bit today, especially with like the frozen meals because I do pack them for work along with hubby. And then um, I do pack them for the kids uh, lunches as well. Okay, so without trying to move too much, um, I got some uh, pecan pumpkin um, instant oatmeal. I bought those before and I wanted to go get some more. Those are really good. Um, the only thing though for little Danica, she's four, is that it does have the little um, pecan pieces. So before I put the milk in there and microwave it, I do try to take out as much as I can with the pecans. But for me, I like it just as is. And then I do get my um, turbinado sugar um, from Trader Joe's. Now, um, Jonathan uses this mostly for like um, coffee and, um, and stuff. So, oh, this one. This is a new item that I've been getting over at Trader Joe's. ABC bars, almond butter cocoa bars, flavored with other natural flavors, soft, chewy, chocolatey, doughy dough with creamy almond uh, butter filling. I like this. I'm not much into the granola bars. But this is so good for me. Um, I bring it to work and I I work the, I don't know, is it called the swing shift? <laughs> I'm new into the, the actually going to the office um, routine. So I work from 3 to 11.30, but sometimes I work extra hours. I don't get home until 2, 1 kind of thing. And my last break, I do have this and then it lasts me until I get home and I don't need to munch on anything when I get home kind of thing. So I like this one. And then, of course, the kids, they love the um, Trader Joe's pineapple juice. I told you guys before, I've looked elsewhere. The only pure pineapple juice that I've been able to find is the Dole one, and it's the one in the can. I like this one from Trader Joe's. Um, it actually tastes just like the, the Dole one. It's just um, straight up pineapple juice kind of thing, so I, I like that, and the kids like that a lot. So that's a, another staple. And then I like to get the little salad... Um, greens over at the um trader joe's this is i think like just a dollar 99 baby spring mix whenever we grill um steak or chicken or even um salmon when i um fry up some salmon i'll reserve some of the meat and then add it onto my salad and pack it and then um put a little of the dressing on the side and then with my salads if i have strawberries or grapes i'll add that on there um, if I have pecans, whatever nuts I have, even peanuts, add it in there and then it gives you that crunch. So it's as if like um, the meal is more filling than if you had just put just plain greens into there. Okay, so I bought some, I still had some flour tortilla, um, tortillas in the refrigerator from Costco, but I bought some more because tomorrow... I was going to make it tonight, but I decided to make it tomorrow so I can maybe film for you guys. But I'm going to make um, chicken um, chicken enchilada with white cream sauce. And I use, um, I use my own sauce. So I just do like um, butter and flour and make a roux out of it and add my sour cream. And then um, some, I do use some of the chilies. I got the recipe from Pinterest a while back. So the family does like it, and then I, I just get the rotisserie chicken to make my uh, chicken enchilada from Costco. I bought that um, yesterday, and I kept it in the refrigerator, so I'm going to make that tomorrow night for sure. And then I'm, I add cheese, and this is the shredded three cheese blend that I got over at Trader Joe's. And then with that recipe, I got the chicken, chicken broth to use for that, and I think that's it. And then I have the sour cream in the fridge, and that's it for that particular meal. Okay, so kind of crowded over here on my countertop, but I wanted to try this out. Pumpkin season, of course, so I got the pumpkin spice um, herbal blend tea. Got that. And then 
I like this. I've, I've gotten this a few times and, and I go through it a lot because I also use this as my salad dressing, balsamic vinegar of uh, Modena. I forgot how much this is. I think maybe like $4, but I'll, instead of the regular salad dress, dressing, I also like to use this one for my salad, especially if I'm putting strawberries and pecans or almonds into my salad. This one really enhances the flavor, I feel. And then marinated artichoke. I like to use that for um, pasta um, whenever we have grilled chicken. Whenever I grill chicken, it's just the chicken tenderloins. Um, I use lemon pepper as my marinade. And that lemon pepper chicken is actually good for anything. I can even do chicken enchiladas with it. I can do um, salads with it. And then I can do pasta with it. It's very mild in flavor. So I feel like it doesn't go against other flavors that, that I might add onto other dishes. And then, of course, Hubby loves his Hatch Valley Salsa. Um, this one's a pretty mild one, even though it's like fire-roasted hot green chili peppers. It's not too... Um, overwhelming because I don't hubby loves those super super spicy hot sauces I'm not into too much super spicy hot sauces and I like this one kind of little you know um high-end mild for me but it's it tastes really good and then tomato basil marinara perfect for the kids to make their own um, um spaghetti for dinner so for spaghetti I tend to like like the um the thin spaghetti noodles um, instead of just the regular spaghetti noodles. So I got this one at Trader Joe's. Oops. Got that. Got the cheese. Showed you guys that. And then our apple tree has so much apples. So we don't know what to do with the apples. We've been giving them away. But um, I've also been making um, not apple pie, but um, more like a apple turnover. So I will get like the, is it the phyllo dough? You just roll it so that it spreads out more. Um... I even put like cream cheese on there or with the phyllo dough or with the pie crust. I'll roll it, add the, um, um, stuff it with the apples that I've cut up with sugar and cinnamon and um, like a little bit of nutmeg. And then I'll cover it up with another pie crust and poke some holes into it, put it into the oven. And it's a great um, little apple tart for the kids to snack on. So got that. I told you guys what I'm going to use the chicken broth for. And then also we got some uh, black olives. I like to put this onto my um, my salads as well. I don't know. As I'm getting older, I'm liking olives more and more. But before when I was younger, especially in my um, teen years, I hated olives. And I didn't understand why when you would go to the grocery store, they would have a, uh, their own olive bar. You know, instead of a salad bar, they'd have an olive bar. I didn't understand. But now as I'm getting older, I do like the um, the taste of olives. Okay, spicy chai tea latte. This is my second one getting this within a month, I think. So I'll make my regular coffee. I don't, I like Starbucks for during the, um, during the summer for my refreshers. I like the hibiscus. I like the dragon fruit, passion fruit tea, all that stuff. I like Starbucks during the summer for that specific reason. And then during the fall and winter, I do like my pumpkin spice once in a while because it tends to be overly powerly sweet. So what I do with this one is that I um, I, brew, um, I brew my own coffee through my Keurig and I make it into um, um, like a number six or number like extra strong. And then I'll add about a tablespoon of this or maybe uh, two tablespoon and then it without any sugar or anything just this to flavor it and it's really good it's really like a nice fall drink and then speaking of my coffee ever since I started keto like lazy keto during the late summer I actually lost 10 pounds doing it but then I stopped because I had to go to um to the office and then working at the office and then trying to balance time with the kids and trying to cook all this i fell off the wagon but I did enjoy it like when I when I was actually in it and I got so used to having my coffee with no creamer and no sugar and it was just straight um, black coffee and then adding some um, heavy whipping cream to it so that's how I still take my coffee if I'm not using this one okay so got a jar of cookie butter 
love oh my god love 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 cookie butter i can literally eat this from the spoon right it's so good so if you guys have never had cookie butter just try this out it's so good you i even use it as a filling when i make my macarons um that or just peanut you know instead of peanut butter sandwich um the kids like nutella um not nutella but um spickless cookie butter sandwich just as is sorry using my phone and i'm getting text messages okay so got that and then I wanted to try this out because I remember I bought this, but I think someone ate it from the freezer. So I don't even remember if I had this yet, but um, is it called Nochi? Nochi Gorgonzola? Um, a friend of mine here on YouTube, Miss um, Amber, said that this is really, really good. So I wanted to try that out this time. And then Jonathan loves these breaded mozzarella sticks. I gosh, I think they're like $2, $2.99 or $3 something like that okay another one another new item that i have been loving is the hot cocoa dunker so i bought this the last time i went to trader joe's kids love it i love it it's the s'mores one i think it's called s'mores chocolate cookies with marshmallow pieces and chocolatey co um, coating with other natural flavors so it tastes like s'mores i ended up buying two of them today because um I, as you guys notice, I don't have any cookies. This is it. This is my pantry. I don't have, um, I do have um, honeydew in the refrigerator, green grapes, and strawberries. So I've been trying to, even though I, I use this, to be honest, I can't give this up because we're never home at the same time. I work 3 to 11 um, or 12 or 3, like I'm out of the house, like, you know, in different times of the day and then Danica goes to school and then hubby works from home and then Danielle has cheer and then Jonathan has college we never sit down together um for a meal we're, we're all on different schedules so having this and the kids being able to cook um, to cook it for themselves is something that works for my family but I balance it out with um you may not see the greens here because i like to get my greens from like h mart which is our local asian market but i also balance it out with um with fruits so i always pack them fruits sometimes two fruits a day and and then that <laughs> but that's all we got right now but um these are like these tv dinners from um, trader joe's taste amazing and they're so affordable okay so i have this one the girls like this one this is the organic frosted toaster pastry strawberry i don't know how they taste i don't think danica even likes this one i know danielle does and danny so they um the two girls pack that and then i do like this one mushroom and herb risotto so i've had this a while um before especially like when when we're grilling something then i'll pack this for the girls or i'll cook it for for them for the evening and then they can just have their um their meat whatever we grilled um onto and then have um the rice and then have the meat over that so got that okay i'm not much into tamales so in order for me to really like tamales they really have to taste authentic and in california we used to buy it from this lady that um this um spanish lady that really cooks good authentic tamales from her home and she would sell it as her home business but over here, I have not found a really good tamales place in Washington. But Trader Joe's um, pork and red sauce tamales are so good. I love it. So I'll, um, I'll warm this up into the pot with um, hot water and a steamer. I'll steam it for like, I think, six minutes. And then I'll put sour cream. And then this one. That's why I bought this one. This one on top of it. Oh my gosh, guys. So, so, so good. So good. Okay, so this was like, I think, $6.99. We always have to have a bag of mandarin chicken um, because this tastes so good over rice um, and then sprinkle a little bit of sriracha. We're good to go. And then hubby, the kids don't like this so much, but hubby and I do like this. I mean, for $4.99, I can cook this and then um, make some rice, make some uh, steamed rice. And then we'll have some for lunch um, for $4.99. It's enough for hubby and I, and then it's enough for me to pack it to work the next day. So it saves me money when I buy this because at work, you know, we're ordering something like there's an L&L next to my work. 
and I'm spending like $11 for lunch and then I try to save some for dinner as well but that's 11 or $12 a day where I can be spending $4.99 and then it's enough for hubby and I for a quick lunch before I leave and then I have enough left over for a quick dinner at work okay mandarin chicken and then oh this one's so good too I packed this one for um for work as well it tastes really, um, the lemongrass, you can really taste the lemongrass in this. I think it's $3.99. That's one of my go-to meals too. Hubby likes this one. Okay, and this one, I know I bought this before too, but it's a while back. So shrimp stir fry. What I, um, I cook it per direction of whatever it says. And then what I do is I get these over at the H Mart or Asian Market. And these are, um, these are like the, um, the pho, is it the pho noodles? So I will soak this in warm water while I'm boiling up a pot of hot water and then I'll put it into the pot of hot water for a good maybe three to five minutes until it's tender. I like my noodles really nice and tender. And then I'll separate out the noodles and then I'll add the stir fry, um, this stir fry on top of the noodles and then I'm good to go. And then this one has its own little seasoning as well already. Okay, so I got that and then also tempura chicken with sweet and sour sauce i think this is 5.99 again this is enough meal for for the kids for the family and i and i have hubby myself jonathan danielle and then danny and it's just even though it's one bag because we have it over rice uh, we have it over rice and then we'll have um, veggies on the side so that's plenty for us um for the family so again it saves us money um I like to cook this for the girls, Japanese fried rice. I tend to think that by um, when I have leftover uh, white rice, I'll add some onto here because by itself, I feel like it's kind of oily. Um, and I do put just very minimal oil to it, um, olive oil. But then I like to add some of the, the white rice to it. And then if I have leftover steak or um, the grilled chicken, I'll add those pieces in there as well to make it more of a filling, fulfilling meal. It is winter seasons coming up or it's already here during, you know, the evening. So the kids really like their hot chocolate. So I bought them some, um, some whipped cream. Okay. You guys know I love my roasted seaweed snack with the wasabi flavor. Um, if I'm having mac and cheese at Trader Joe's, I didn't even buy any mac and cheese this time. Um, I'll heat those up because I realized they were like 43 grams um, of carbs. That's why I stopped buying them. But the kids love them. They're young, they don't need to worry so much about carbs, right? But then if I do have some of the Trader Joe's uh, mac and cheese, I do like to cut up the seaweed in little strips and then sprinkle a little bit of sriracha. I'm good to go, I know I'm weird. But um, hubby loves his sriracha ranch dressing. He'll use that for his sandwiches, he'll use that for fries. He'll use that as dipping for everything. And then here's ketchup. And then Danielle loves to bake sometimes, and Danny, even Jonathan. So I got them the Blondie Bar baking mix and then the cinnamon sugar muffin uh, baking mix. This is their go-to stuff that they can easily just do um, at home by themselves. I think that's it, guys. I think I showed you everything I have. All this I paid, I believe, $90, $92 for everything I have here. So that was my... That was my receipt, I think. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. My bag was still down up, 92. Did I pay 92? 89. So, $89, okay? Everything in here. I knew it was somewhere around the 90. But for $89, I've got me enough meals to last. And then, I, like I said, I just add on to it of whatever I have, whether rice, um, make my own mac and cheese, or some grilled, um, grilled meat. All right, friends, thank you guys for stopping by. Um, as always, I appreciate all the love that you, and support that you guys give me um, throughout the, the times that I've been here on YouTube. As always, thank you for everything. Mahalo, friends. See you guys soon.